Hey guys, um, I'm here to review the recent Birds of Prey episode. I'm going to keep this video relatively short because I'm not feeling that well. So, uh, let's get into it. So, this episode had, um, uh, Huntress in it. And I thought with the way that it was talked about that they were going to do some sort of team-up thing, maybe she would get redeemed. We kind of get a hint of that towards the end, but... She mainly just comes back to find her dad, which I guess has been on the run, because they're not really specific about it until halfway through the episode that he's been running, and some, for some stupid reason, he comes back to Starling City. I'm not sure why, though. That's kind of a weird thing to do, and um, throughout the episode, we find out that Laurel's actually doing a lot better. She's in rehab. We have a touching scene where the 100 is going on right now planning on doing a review if I don't feel too terrible. That show's actually getting really good. But anyway, back to this. And so, um, she creates a hostage situation to get her dad and there's an actor in here that's one of the police officers who I'm blanking on his name right now, but he was in Zero in Smallville. Uh, he was the villain in that episode if you know what I'm talking about. And, um, so we have a scene with Sarah where she saves... Uh, Laurel, and Laurel actually is really heroic and says, we're not leaving until we save, like, all the hostages. And so they go back and save them. Um, we have more with Roy. We have a cute scene where, um, where he thinks he gets called Speedy by Oliver when he was just trying to remind him of what he's, uh, to snap him out of it by using her name. And also that they have to break up because... He's getting dangerous, and all of a sudden he had, like, this weird sort of thing where he freaked out for no reason. And he's never done that before, except, like, when you're a criminal. If you're a criminal, watch out, because he's just going to come up and just start, like, wailing on you. But, whatever, like, it's... I kind of felt like that was a little bit forced. Um, Laurel gets her job back briefly at a CNRI at this thing that's basically, like, a setup to get Bert and Aldi, Bert, bleh, Bird Alley out, um, who ends up dying in the end, uh, by another cop's hand. Uh, this episode felt kind of fillerish. um, nothing really happened, we kind of see where Ollie got his tattoos because Slade branded him, um, which was interesting, I was wondering how they're going to explain that. Besides that, really not much, um, Huntress goes to jail. They kind of redeem her a little bit, so I'm guessing she's going to be coming back soon. If not now, then later. Um, I don't really like that actress, to be honest. I never really liked her in the show. She's not that good of an actress. She's improved a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's not that great. It's not that much of an improvement. Uh, yeah, sorry. And, uh, that's about it. I kind of like the, uh, sort of growing pains that we're having with Roy, him finally teaming up, and that whole thing. Um, I'm hoping for more in the next episode. The Anthea gets kidnapped uh, by Slade, or it's implied that she does. Um, we see in the next preview. It kind of spoils that whole thing, but whatever. So I'm looking forward to the next episode. I thought this episode was okay. It was a little bit fillerish. Not Not much really happened, but it was an enjoyable episode nonetheless. So what do you guys think of it? If I were to rate it right now, I'd probably give it like a, uh, maybe a 3 out of 5. I think that's fair. It's an okay episode. So uh, that's about it. Want to know what you guys think? Comment below, like, subscribe, comment. And uh, I'll probably uh, see you guys in the next review for the 100 episode I'm watching right now. So uh, see you later.